Okay, I'm working on my uh, Goodman furnace. Um, it's been a pretty good furnace, but um, I don't know if it's uh, 10 years old or, or what the date code is on this thing. Looks like it's um, 2016. Um, but my uh, heat wasn't coming on, and so um, you can hear the motor. It sounds pretty nasty. Here's where the uh, air codes would blink. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut the power off on this uh, furnace for a second. So, when I came down here, um, the motor, this motor right here was not spinning. You can see it's spinning inside. Um, I thought the uh, igniter um, was the problem originally. Basically, if you unplug this igniter, this is the, uh, the type of connection it has on it. I'll put that on a little bit. Put that back in a little bit. Um, but uh, what I did is I uh, wasn't, I thought the igniter was bad, so I unplugged the igniter shut off the power to the furnace, turned it back on, and then I looked for an air code down here blinking. Um, I think it came up with an E7, which means uh, probably the igniter is open. So that told me, um, you know, after I popped that off, that it started airing out at E7. Uh, when the igniter was plugged in originally, it was getting past seven, it was going up to uh, EC and uh, EC points to an over current draw on the uh, inducer motor. Um, so um, it looks like the bearings are starting to go out in this thing. What I did here is um, with my finger, I went to go spin that motor to see um, if I could get to turn a little bit. And then when I flip the AC power back on, which I'm gonna do right now, and the it's it's looking for heat, I believe. It's on and it's saying H, H for heat. Um, it's got an E7. Uh, doesn't look like the motor is potentially turning on now, but um, oh, yeah, the E7 is because I I gotta plug that guy back in. Let me uh, plug that back that guy back in there, and I'll be right back. Okay, I just plugged the um, igniter back in. I'm going to flip the, uh, the AC switch on. Typically what happens is this uh, motor right here should start to spin like it is. And then down here it's uh, going to blink H for heat mode. Um, but this morning this was not spinning. But definitely those bearings are going bad. I'm going to shut this thing off again. Um, but this, this is just firing up for the fall for the first time or so. So I think this bearing must have been, um, inside here must have been um, corroded a little bit. Uh, the bearing's going bad though. It needs to be fixed. Um, also, uh, this... Uh, This part on the this blower piece right here, I think it said it was a Honeywell. Um, I don't know where the sticker is, but um, there's a little sticker right there. I don't know if you got to buy the whole unit, but it'd be best just to try to get this motor. I can't get the uh, part number of the motor too easily. Probably order a new motor. Um, anyway, that's what I'm going to have to do to fix this guy in the long run but for right now because um, I took the end of this little motor was able to spin it around a time or two to break it loose um, at least it will run but it sounds like garbage so um, that will be my project coming up here to keep this thing running for this winter time anyway hope you like the video please like share and subscribe